Welcome to e Patashala. I am Devika Madali, Professor, Documentation Research and Training Center, Indian Statistical Institute. I would like to talk about the module which deals with basic concepts, function and the components of information retrieval system. So as we know, information retrieval system is meant to retrieve pertinent and precise information from a large collection of documents or resources. That is the basic expected function of any IRS or information retrieval system. So depending upon the purpose of the IRS, uh, it has different kinds of architecture and different kinds of components and also different kinds of functions. So it depends upon how the IRS is purposed to decide what should be the architecture, what should be the component and what should be the functional component of IRS. However, for general purpose, we can say that IRS basically consists of a document collection and it, collect, it has functional aspects to identify, to access and to retrieve documents, which is deemed as the very basic uh, purpose of IRS. The other uh, major dependency is on what the information retrieval system addresses, meaning that what kind of resource it really needs to access or to index. So today in the online world, we do not have just text, but we have text and different multimedia and different file formats available. So an IRS system should have components to deal with different formats of information. For example, if there are video files that an IRS system will have, then if the function of the IRS is planned as streaming video, it should have such an essential component. So we cannot have a generic uh, model prescribed for every uh, system that is going to function, but we can give in general what are the components of IRS system. I would like to talk about the module which deals with basic concept, function and the components of information retrieval system. The knowledge system into which an IR system is normally embedded consists of three essential parts. They are as follows, people in their role as information processor, documents in their role as carriers of information or they are the information resources or collections and third is most important topics as representations. So these we can deem as the three basic and essential parts of an IR system. Lancaster comments that an information system does not inform, change the knowledge of the user on the subject of their inquiry. It merely informs them of the existence or non-existence and the whereabouts of documents relating to their request. However, this notion of information retrieval has changed since the availability of full text documents in bibliographic databases. While many features of conventional text retrieval systems are equally applicable to multimedia information retrieval, the specific nature of multimedia information such as audio, image and video information calls for development of many new tools and techniques for information retrieval. So it depends upon whether we have what kind of uh, resource, information resource in the database, whether it's audio, image or video and depending upon what kind of function is planned, we need the tools and techniques to handle that. For example, if the, there is image file, we require that image uh, editing and visualization tools. If we have video and we plan to serve out video in real time, we need streaming tools for that. So modern information retrieval deals with storage, organization and access to text as well as multimedia resources. An information retrieval system is developed in order to help users for discovery of information and that should be relevant to their information needs. And it is generally from a storehouse or a large collection of documents. The idea of IR or information retrieval assumes that there exist several records or documents comprising of data that have been arranged in some order, some suitable order for easy retrieval. The storehouse contains many bibliographic information which is quite different from other kinds of information or data. So here we are describing or talking about the traditional IRS system and mostly the bibliographic retrieval information retrieval system. 
Also, when we talk about conventional database management systems such as Access or Oracle or MySQL, these deal with structured data where the arrangement or structuring of data takes place on the basis of specific attributes of the data element. For example, in a database of recipe, the various data elements would be uh, something like attributes of a specific recipe, record such as say recipe instruction, there could be the recipe yield or the product that is the end product of the recipe, the type of recipe, ingredients required, maybe they could also give uh, time of the cooking that takes place, even they could give the equipment required and so on and so forth. So all these have been sort of demarcated and structured into different elements. For example, if we also take the database for a supermarket, you may have the uh, elements such as name of the item, which is barcode, may have the manufacturer or supplier, then price and so on and so forth. So databases are structured according to the content they have feature, they are featuring. The main objective of databases is to enable users to search for specific records to be matched with one or more specific condition or search criteria and such such criteria or conditions are usually laid uh, by the user in an online environment. Unlike a conventional database management system, an online information retrieval system deals with unstructured data. The main purpose of designing an information system retrieval system is to meet user's requirement. Whether we are talking about the traditional model, which is offline, uh, like bibliographic management or uh, data management systems, or online, like web-based search engines. An IRS enables document retrieval in order to answer user query as we already know. The received information can be represented in different forms. For example, the database can show a of some bibliographic resources or full text documents such as journal articles, conference proceedings, newspaper articles, textbook, encyclopedia, legal documents, statistical records, or etc. along with maybe audio, graphic or like images or video information. So the content can be very different or disparate and these have to be addressed holistically in an IRS. So the IRS system as already mentioned can have two main types of information. One is structured and the other is unstructured. So let us see what is this unstructured information. This type of information resource either does not have a predefined data model or is not organized in a predefined order. Unstructured information is typically text heavy but it also may contain data such as dates, numbers and facts also. But because of the unstructured nature, it results in irregularities and ambiguities that make it really difficult to understand using traditional computer program as compared to data data stored in fielded forms such as in databases or data that is annotated or what we call as semantically tagged in documents. So whenever there is some kind of structure and some kind of a an annotation, it gives a lot of information to the IRS system it to semantically retrieve information or to use the structure, exploit the structure itself to retrieve information. So that brings us to structured information, structured information. This type of information is that which is already structured into fields and the fields may have names such as in a bibliographic database, we have name or author and we have title, or we have publisher such fields as name or we may have general purpose databases where field names could take uh, the name such as age, gender, hobby, address or profession, salary. So if we have a database of person, typically these are the elements that may occur. So this is typical of uh, what we find in a record of a what we call the relational database table. When information is organized in a structured form, it's usually relatively easy to retrieve it as is very obvious. So once it is structured by say the example given here, name, age, gender, hobby and address. So if we, if somebody will ask a question, what is the hobby of some person say John or Michael, it's very easy to retrieve because the name Michael is entered in names field and the hobby the person has got is entered against the hobby. So it is a matter of matching these to retrieve the information. So structured information, since already the work has been in uh, done for structuring and for populating the information within databases, it makes the work of IRS much simpler uh, to retrieve precise information. IR systems and databases merely find what already is there. So this is very important to know that IRS by itself does not invent anything new. Whatever is there and whatever is already represented in some form, IR system can retrieve this. Now additional components are there to IRS system like inferencing rules where some by inferencing some new info information can also be retrieved. But by uh, default, IRS will only retrieve what is already represented within the database. So for example, from a student's database, his or her marks can be retrieved and we can also retrieve what is the position of that student in a given class. As I already explained, in an expert system on the other hand, it can go beyond just stating what is a fact. It can go and state something new by making inferences, depending upon of course what kind of inferencing rule or inferencing engine is used. So it can identify a student and also it can give a statement on merit if we have suppose specified in an inferencing rule that there is a list of students in a database and their marks are given against each student. We can have extra inferencing 
inferencing rule how to give the grade A plus. So we can give in the inferencing rule all students who have scored 70 marks and above are A plus. All students who have scored 50 marks and above are A. All students who have scored 55 and above are B plus and 50 and above are B. Any such rules can be made and that policy can be encoded and once we have this encoded as inference rule this effort system can also give the student not only the name of the student the marks against their name and also their grades against that by just uh, making this kind of inference this student is above 70 so I give him A plus. So this uh, works once we have encoded the information as well as the inference rule inside the system. So IR concentrated more on finding the document consisting of written text or textual document. Most IR also this uh, focuses on text retrieval but nowadays we have other kinds of retrieval system. So this can be speech retrieval, it could be a question answering uh, IR system, it could be cross language information retrieval system, it could be image retrieval system or also audio retrieval system like music retrieval system. So IR systems have advanced and there are many types of retrieval system uh, as mentioned depending upon what they address. Maybe in this uh, uh, in this example given it may be speech or music or image. It can be cross language, the where a uh, query can be given in one language and the retrieval can be in multiple languages and it could also be a QA system or a question answering system. Speech retrieval. Speech is of course an information rich element of multimedia. There exist several techniques where information can be extracted from a speech signal in a number of different ways. So there are speech recognition and uh, recognizer through speech recognition. It could also have speaker identification, voice detection and based upon this kind of um, files, the audio files, the work has been done on also sentiment analysis. Information that can be extracted from tools and methods developed in these fields can greatly enhance multimedia based systems and help the IRS systems in improving the retrieval no matter what kind of information resource they are dealing with. Cross language information retrieval. This is an application area of IR itself which deals with fetching information written in particular language different from the language of the user's query. For example, using Hindi queries to retrieve English documents. This is one of the challenging fields and work has been done on this. Suppose a person does not know English, they can type in using Hindi as a language and the system is supposed to search and retrieve the retrieve set no matter in what language it is there. In this example, it could retrieve the documents in English. However, this is an area of research still and a lot of research potential is there and ongoing work in what is called as CLIR cross language information retrieval. QA system or question answering system. Now basically question answering systems were developed as part of uh, expert systems in computer science discipline and uh, within domains of IR and natural language processing. So many uh, initial NLP systems or natural language systems were developed for answering questions and tested uh, in uh, tested building systems that automatically answer some questions which are posed by humans. In fact the very uh, popular tests were also whether the human is answering the question quicker or a computer is answering a question quicker in the very popular IR systems that were tested. Uh, but, uh, in a QA implementation, usually a computer program may construct its answer by querying a structured database of knowledge or information and usually this is referred to as a knowledge base and systems that use such knowledge base are known as knowledge based systems. And more commonly, this type of QA systems pull answers from unstructured collections also which are uh, offlet in the online uh, system of natural language documents. Here again the techniques of uh, information extraction and inferencing are used along with NLP. Image retrieval. Image retrieval is part of the subfield of IR or it is uh, a type of IR we can say. It helps the retrieval of system for browsing, searching and retrieving image from a large database. The database may contain only digital images along with text or may contain other resources like having graphic, video and audio along with the image. So it could be a combination, it could be an image alone or it could be a combination of different types of media into one. The most popular and common techniques of image retrieval utilize methods of adding metadata such as use of captioning, keywords or description of the image so that the retrieval can be performed over annotation words. So usually certain indicators like the size of the image, the color of the image. So for um, example, to give a very broad example, if there is a blue color, if it is uh, used, the word blue is uh, used to annotate whether it is an image of clouds and sky or whether it's an image of a water bottle. So some such uh, text based clues are used, keywords are used in image retrieval also. The manual process of image annotation is time consuming of course and laborious and also an expensive affair. Hence many, much research has been conducted on automatic image annotation and image mm, detection. Uh, also this is an area 
of ongoing research. There is there are much um, advanced uh, work and projects uh, going on that are reported from time to time in popular worldwide uh, conferences on IR. Music retrieval. Music information retrieval is again uh, we can call it an interdisciplinary field and also a subfield under IR itself. It's known as MIR, music information retrieval. It is a maybe a small but it is a growing field of research and it also has many real world applications. Several researchers working in this area come from different backgrounds of course because of the work involved from ranging from computer science to musicology, psychology, instrumentation etc. Uh, even signal processing is a major major part of music retrieval uh, system. So in addition to these systems that are mentioned, uh, IR may deal with a particular type of entity or object uh, for example like uh, work of art, software or courses offered at a university, people, product of so many kinds or taxi or image, printed media or digital, such kinds of different purpose IR are uh, present. But all these types carry information and hence they are under the purview of IR or information retrieval system. Coming to the function of IR system. An IR system essentially makes or ensures that users should be satisfied with the service. The system will be able to accomplish tasks, solve problems and make decisions based on user needs. In short, an information retrieval uh, system should find out the requirement of the target group of users, find out a collection of relevant documents and other information uh, sources. They should be indexed appropriately. Then mainly the third is a match between one and two, match the documents with user needs in order to fetch the relevant documents. So the operations pertaining to IR are around usefulness and relevance of documents. The use of a document is dependent upon three major things, topical connectedness, applicability and originality. A resource is considered to be topically significant for a particular context, question or task if it consists of information that either instantly provides an answer to a query or can be used in combination with other information to infer an answer or to perform a task. So these are the basic functions expected out of an IR system. So the appropriate Appropriateness of the answer completely depends upon the user for a given context. It is original if it provides an input to user's knowledge. So to give an example, let us consider a simple situation where a basketball player is important for a team. If his ability and playing style fits the team strategy, applicable, if he is compatible with the coach and possesses any unique talent that the team is missing a player in his position. So like this, an IRS also should be planned according to for what function it is meant. Utility of IR system. Utility can be measured in terms of the following. To what extent the document is useful to the user? What is the recall and precision of the search engine? From the literature point of view, the term relevance is used for different purposes. It can indicate utility or topical relevance or pertinence. Many IR system focus on finding topically relevant documents, leaving further selection to the user. So they only make a decision whether it is relevant and further to that, the user makes the decision how relevant relevance it is for his or her search. Relevance is a matter of degree. It depends upon each user, how much satisfied they are and how it satisfies the user's information needs. Some documents are highly relevant and they are deemed as indispensable for the user as it serves the purpose and completely answer the user's information needs. Yet others may not contribute much to user requirement. I can give an example. If a user seeks information for orange, which is a fruit, all documents about the fruit orange are deemed as relevant. Other documents may have the word orange but may not indicate about fruit. For example, if a football team is simply named as orange team, if they wear orange jerseys, they could be documents on orange but deal with a football team and that is not what the user is uh, seeking. So relevance really is uh, relative to how a user perceives a document as relevant to his or her information needs. From the relevance assessment, the measures that are generally used are recall and precision and there is also another measure called discrimination. So recall is relevant items correctly retrieved by all relevant items in the collection. Discrimination is irrelevant items correctly rejected by all irrelevant items in the collection. Precision is relevant items received by all items retrieved. Evaluation studies normally use recall and precision or a combination of both in the evaluation of IRS system. So coming to the basic steps of IRS, an information retrieval system deals with different sources of information on one hand and on the other hand it has to cater to several user requirements. Hence the steps involved are first the analysis, analyzing available content 
present in the information process as well as the query, then matching. Matching the user queries are matched with the available document in order to, relevant, to retrieve relevant resources. The two different functions of IRS are as follows accordingly. To identify information sources relevant to the areas of the interest of the target group or community and this is a challenging job as the potential user may have different type of requirements. And then to analyze the contents of the sources which is becoming increasingly challenging as the size, the volume and the variety of information sources is increasing rapidly and web information retrieval is mostly attempted as automatic designed by programs or what are called as FIDER. The next function is to represent the contents of the analyzed sources in a way that matches the user's query. This is also attempted to be done automatically, creating one or more index files in IR system. Again, this is an increasingly complex task due to the volume and variety of the content and the increasing user demand. To match the search statements with the stored database, a number of complex information retrieval models have been developed. To retrieve relevant information, a variety of tools and techniques are used and also their ranking is attempted to be given. The last step is updation. So any system is not permanent, it will be changing. To make continuous changes in all aspects of the system, keeping in mind the rapid development uh, that are there in technology, we have to have a component for feedback and updation of the system. So these are the basic uh, components and the functions of uh, an IRS system. In summary, we can say that the basic components and the function of IRS system really depends upon the purpose for which it has been designed. It also depends upon what it is going to index as a collection, whether it is the traditional mode where there is a controlled environment of the documents in a structured database or whether it is in an online mode where it is a rather uncontrolled and unstructured collection of documents. So this module has dealt with both the structured and unstructured types of resources and what may be the components required of IRS systems to deal with such collection.